what if someone asked me to rob a bank with them or, you know, you know, should I just say, okay, do it, you know, because I, you know, I don't want to say no. Jesus told me. Uh, what he's really talking about, these outrageous requests are all those typical things that, that are, that are like ego whims that are based on ego needs. So, if somebody wants a certain temperature in their room, they'll say, you know, could you please uh, shut that window, or could you please open that window, or, you know, there's hundreds of these ego whims based on ego needs that, that go on uh, for, for the human being throughout the day. And, and he's just basically saying in that passage, don't, don't make a point of disagreement around these things. They're, they're so minor, that they're really based on ego needs because there can be a request that will come from a brother that is truly a call for love, a miraculous request. And if you say no <laughs> to all of the, no, I'm not going to open the window. Can you move your feet? No. Can you take your shoes off when you come to the house? No. So that passage is in the Course basically saying that you don't want to miss the genuine call for love, the genuine call for help, the one that can change somebody's day, their whole day, by you saying yes. And so it's, I also think it's for the, for more for those that are starting the beginning work with the Course. Uh, I told some stories too about how when my mind training advanced into higher and higher and higher realms where I came closer to what the Bible calls, let your yea be yea and let your nay be nay. You know, where I would really let the Holy Spirit make all my decisions for me. That actually when you get to the higher realms, um, you're letting your mind be used by Jesus and the Holy Spirit for the whole universe. And, and your yeses and nos, uh, that passage that we just talked about doesn't really apply at that point. <laughs>